Hi, Tom here. This week, this video is a sponsored collaboration with Wix.com. Wix allows you to create your own website visually using WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. So if you want to promote and showcase your artwork in a professional manner, then you should consider building your own website art gallery. As a visual artist, it is, I think, very important to look and notice and be observant and try new things. In this drawing of an eye, I'm looking at my drawing as it develops. Drawing is a wonderful thing. One of the things I love about drawing is that it makes me more observant about the world around me. But there's also another aspect of visual art. It is a form of visual communication. And to communicate, you need to be able to allow other people to see the wonderful artwork that you produce. One of the best ways of doing that is to build a website and have an art gallery in your website. And then you can share the art that you make. If you want, you could click on the video description below and follow along with your own Wix.com site step by step. Go to Wix.com slash go slash circle line to start your own professional Wix website. I'll now show you how to build your own website. So here we have the option to choose what sort of category of website that we'd like. So there are many that we could choose. I think I'll choose the portfolio and CV category. Then we'll choose to make it as a template with the template editor. And now we have a page which previews all of the different templates that are within the category that we chose. They look great, but I think I would like to choose blank templates up here. So we can just start from scratch. So to do that, just click edit and edit a blank template starting from scratch. To make this a simple website, I just want to use one page. So we can go up to the navigation bar along here. And if we click here, we can see that we're in the home page. And also we can manage pages. So if we click here, then we've got our home page here. But down here, we can add a new page. So if you want to make your website more than one page, just click here and then you can rename your next page. And then just click done. So now we have two pages. So this page here is Circle Line Art School. But if we click here, and now this is highlighted in blue, and this changes to home. So now this is home. Now I don't want two pages, I just want one. So I'm going to delete this page here by choosing out of all of these the delete button and then pressing delete. And now I've just got the one page, which is fine. So I'll close this. So this is your page control thing. Along here, you can see what your website would look like on a desktop or on a mobile. You have various site settings here, save and preview and other things. Along here, we can connect to a domain or upgrade your Wix plan. Along here, we have tools. And then if we go all the way along to here, we have this one, which is really useful. You can zoom out of your website to see and organize all of the elements which are in your page. And then here, the most useful is to undo something when you do something wrong, like I do all the time. And then you can redo something when you realize it was in actual fact okay. And then we want the save button to be used all the time. And then preview button to see what it's going to actually look like. And then publish when you're ready to publish. So this is the top menu bar. And then along here we have the left menu which contains all the features you need to build your site. And then on the right here, we have a third menu bar for various options and actions. So now I'd like to add something. So I'm going to press the add button. And I think I'll add some text first of all. So as soon as you press the add button, then you get to the text or any of these things along here. So for text, I think I'll add a heading. So I'll click on here. And now within here, we can edit the text by double clicking or pressing edit text up here. Now you can choose the font 
I think I'll keep that font, but there are many other fonts that you can use. Lots and lots of fonts. But I think I'll change what it says. So I click the cursor onto here. I can delete that and write something else. So now we have Drawing From Home, which is my new online drawing course. So I think I'll keep that text, just pull it across on the right to make it into one line. And then I can move this text up to the top of the page, somewhere about here, and align it in the center with these center guidelines that just sort of pop up when you're in the center. Next, I'd like to add a gallery. So if we go over here again and press add, and then if we go to the pro gallery here, there are many other different sorts of galleries, lots of things to choose from. So I'll go to the pro gallery here. Now there are lots of different formats for galleries to choose, lots of different layouts. So I think I'll choose this thumbnail one here. So I just click on that and then it loads up on my page and then I can start to change the images that it has. So to change the images to the images that I want, my own images, go up to Manage Media and click. And now we have the media which is already within the gallery. But I want my own drawings, I don't want somebody else's photographs. So I'm going to select all and then delete. So that's taking out it, the images that are already in the gallery. And now I can add my own media. So I could add a video from YouTube, or I could add text, or I could add image. So I'm going to choose to add image. And now here, this is in my site files, where I've already added some site files. If you haven't got any images yet uploaded, you just click on here to upload media, and then you can click to upload from your computer. And then it opens up the files in your computer of images you can select the image that you want. I won't do that now because I have the image that I want. I'll close that and close that. Once you've selected the images you want from your computer, they'll all be here. And now we can add them to our website page. Just select the site files that you want and click. And then here we can replace any of the images with other images that we want. And up here, we can change the order of the images as they appear within the gallery. You can change the title here, the description and the links. Once you're ready, just click Done and then you can see the gallery as it is. And now we have the start of our gallery. Now we can move the gallery around and place it where you want. I'll place it in the centre and centre the words for the heading as well. Next, we could change the background for the gallery. I think I might have a white background. And then just close that tab. So now we have a gallery within our one page website. We can save and preview and publish. So if we click on the image of the gallery, and then we can go to settings. And then here we can choose different layouts. For example, we have thumbnails at the moment. We could change it just with a click like that. So now we have masonry. We could choose any of these. We could choose columns. Or we could choose bricks. And then you can see how it automatically lays them out in an interesting way. But I think I'll go back to thumbnails for this. And then we can preview this to see what the website would actually look like once it's published. So this is what we have so far. A nice selection of drawings from my course Drawing From Home in a thumbnail format on a one-page website. So back to Editor. And now we can add something else to our website. So I think for this I could add another strip. So I have a strip down here, a classic strip, and then I have a black one. That's going to put a whole other part into the website. So if you remember here, we can zoom out and see what we've just done. So that's all we've done so far. We've got text and we've got our gallery, but now we've got another strip here. So now we can click to exit the zoom mode and go back to editor. 
and then with the new black strip we can stretch it with this button here just by pulling it across and then go along to the left hand side and add and then we can add something within this I think I'll choose a video so lots of choices of how you could place a video player within the website and I'll use YouTube as I'm a YouTuber now in here it has a video but we want to obviously change it to the video that we want so I'll search some videos and then in search I've already got it up here so Circle Learn Art School which is my YouTube channel so I type that in and then click search and then it will pop up with the videos under the search that you were looking for and I'll select one of these and just click add and now we can close this off and now we've got how to draw Colosseum as a video I could click it there and then with the background here I'll change the strip background to a colour of what I want whoops don't want that so I'm just looking through selecting a colour that I want I think I'll choose this um, darkish grey here and then close this and now we can zoom out and see how the whole website links together so it's starting to come along we have a heading we have a gallery we have a video let's add another strip to the website and then we can add another gallery click the add button choose a strip it's just a block of color I think I'll choose a white strip use the tab at the base to stretch it down so that it can fit the gallery next go to add choose a gallery and select the gallery that you want have a good look then place it where you want it on your page on your website page then click manage media click select all click delete click add media click the images that you want click done so now if we zoom out we can see how we are building a website gallery using wix.com it's starting to look good I hope you have a go at making a gallery for your own artwork so that the world can see what you are making Go to wix.com slash go slash circle line to start your own professional Wix website.